Hello, everybody. My name is Sam K, and I would like to welcome you guys back to Tuesdays with K. Now, today I'm reviewing the Archer U188 USB condenser microphone. Now, before I get this started, I have no flipping idea what the gain on this microphone is set because it seems to have gain stuff on it that I'll show you a little bit later in the video. But there's no real indicator of how high the gain is on the microphone. So, automatically that's a bit of a deduction in like my review for it. Um, and the gain on the computer seems to make no flip and difference. Um, like, uh, the gain on the computer is set at zero and it doesn't really change the audio at all. So little bit of a deduction there um but let's go ahead and talk about what you will get in the box so you're going to get the microphone you get a microphone stand adapter that just holds the base of the microphone you get a desktop tripod stand you get a blue MUSB to usb cable that's about six feet and you get some documentation so the build quality on this thing is all right. Um, feels solid, but uh, I would prefer metal chassis. But for the price, I mean, twenty bucks. I don't really ask a lot. Um, it's got a plastic chassis and a metal grill. Feels pretty solid. I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel like I'm gonna break this thing by squeezing it too hard. Though I think it's going to be like a lot of condenser microphones. Don't drop it and don't do all that. They're not, condenser microphones are not meant to be rugged. So, um, yeah, I think I think the build is okay. Um, and I think it'll serve for, unless you're really going to be beating up on your microphone. I think it'll serve you okay. Um, the cable feels excellent. It feels like strong, hard rubber. Uh, the tripod stand, it's a basic tripod stand. A lot of uh, microphones, including uh, the Audio-Technica, um, throw this in it's kind of as just like a, like here, you can set it up on your, on your um, desk. I mean, they're not really, <laughs> they're, honestly, you could sell me the microphone in the stand, in this little stand right here, and I'd still pay 20 bucks for it. These are just kind of like a thing. Um... The stand I do have a little bit of an issue with because it just holds right here on the microphone. I think that they should go for some sort of shock mount um, or if they don't want to increase the price too much, go for some sort of um, thing to hold it on a little bit better. This is not the best method, honestly, that they can go with. Um, but you know, I, I, I don't I don't know that much about computer or I'm sorry microphone construction, so I don't know if that would cost more or not. Um, but just a little plastic thing that you could just slip on instead, um, and then tight and then fasten down. I think that would work a lot better. But as far as the microphone itself and the cable, I could not be happier with those. Um, see, it, for the microphone, there's a lot of different options on the front there's a mute microphone option which i will go ahead and press right now and then you won't be able to hear me so now you shouldn't be able to hear me. Okay, so you, for to mute the microphone, you do have to hold it down for like, it seemed like about one or two seconds, uh, somewhere in that realm. Um, I guarantee you that if I read the instructions, they would have said the same. It would have said that, but I don't read instructions. Um, there's also a mic jack that's right here that I'm gonna go ahead and plug my headphones into. And this allows you to listen to your uh, computer and have live monitoring so that if you want to listen to yourself while you record, you can most definitely do that. Um, then it has gain buttons that I was talking about that I'm not 100% sure what the gain is. Basically, how I have it set up 
is I kept tuning with it until finally I get, was able to get to the audio level I wanted. That is a little bit annoying that they don't really have a set like thing on it. Like if they had just a little LCD or if they just switched those little buttons out for a tiny little dial, be golden. Um, uh, there's, but they also seem to serve as fast forward, uh, play stop and stop buttons. Or they actually, no, that's actually play pause. Uh, so I guess you can stop whatever video you're watching or whatnot. If you're watching a video or something with these buttons, or you can fast forward it or stop it or rewind it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah. So let's just go ahead and jump into the test. So how the test first test is gonna work? It's the pop test. I'm gonna say pop goes the weasel, pippity pop, pippity pop, sees sells seashells by the seashore. Um, and I'm gonna be about three fingerlets away from the microphone when I do that. Uh, right now I'm about five. Um, and then I'm gonna really ramp up those P's, really make them heard. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and start this. Pop goes the weasel, pippity pop, pippity pop, Susan sells seashells by the seashore. Pop goes the weasel, pippity pop, pippity pop, Susan sells seashells by the seashore. Okay, so there's a pop test. I could see that whenever I really ramped up those peas, obviously I popped it. Um, another thing that this does not come with is a pop shield, so you will have to buy one of those by itself if you're planning on recording pretty close to the microphone uh just in general recording um and you want really high quality audio you don't want those pops in there uh just buy a little seven dollar uh pop shield um or wind cap those work just as well um and you can 100 percent be ready to go Okay, so the next test I'm going to do is I'm going to go and do conduct a polar pattern test. Basically, how I do this is I talk into it and I talk all around it um, to see what the polar pattern is. And, yeah, um, so uh, this is supposed to have a cardioid polar pattern, so let's go ahead and test it. Okay, so as I may have mentioned before, I'm not 100% sure, but our shear sent this to me for free they are sponsoring this video um which is very nice of them they sponsored the last video as well so make sure to go check out their stuff and the link in the description i'm now talking to the front of it i'm now talking into the back of it i'm now talking to the side of it i'm now talking to the other side of it i'm now talking into the top of it I'm now talking into the bottom of it. Okay, so the next test I'm going to do is the clicky clicky and the typey typey test. Um, basically, how I do this one is I start typing on my keyboard, clicking on my mouse, and then I will um, start talking while doing it to see how much of my voice is heard versus the background noise. Um, like I said, I have no idea what the gain is set on, on this microphone. So the noise floor test won't be a thing I uh, well actually will but I, it'll be different um and it'll be a weird noise test so let's just go ahead and do this by the way i have a loud keyboard a louder keyboard Okay, so as I said before, Archie did sponsor this, um, and I have to thank them for that. Uh, very awesome, uh, and I'm glad to be reviewing this product, to be honest. It seems like, um, from what I've heard from the microphone, the quality is actually pretty good. The quality of sound that comes out of it. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so there's the um, clicky clicky and the typey typey test. Okay, so there's not going to be a noise floor test because uh, I don't know what 0% is. I don't know what 100% is. I don't know what 50% is. I don't know what 75% is. And I definitely don't know what 25% is. Um, so noise floor test out of here. Um, what I will do, though, to compensate for it is I will do a background test. Like I said, I have no idea what the gain is set on, but... 
what you'll I'll shut up so that you can hear like what kind of background noise is going to generate from uh, whenever you test it out to see what um, you like. So. Okay, so let's get on to the conclusion. Can I recommend this microphone? Yes, I can. Um, I do think that there are a few design choices that Arch here uh, should definitely change, uh, particularly regarding the gain on the microphone. Uh, guys at Arch here, uh, if you could it just uh, add a little dial. Um, if you have a little dial on there, it makes it a lot easier, or maybe a little L LED screen. Uh, that tells you um, like 99, 100, 75, 35, 25, that kind of stuff. Um, have something along those lines. I think the dial would be the cheapest option. Just a little dial you could turn like this. Um, I do like the mute microphone mu function. Definitely keep that. I like the, that you can plug in your headphones. Definitely keep that. I do like that you can mute your headphones. Definitely keep that. Um, I also like that these can all uh, play, fast forward, rewind, all that kind of stuff. And I get what they were going for with that. Um, just add the little dial right there. Maybe even uh, charge more if it, like, charge like two, three dollars more uh, for that little dial. Another thing that I don't like about it is this stand right here. Uh, I think that a little bit of a different stand uh, would work. I think that this stand is a little bit too not form fitting for this microphone um i think that the stand should be different other than that i can't i don't really have a lot of complaints about this microphone besides those two things if it just was if those two things the microphone itself sounds good to me for especially for twenty dollars i i remember whenever i first started youtube if i had this kind of stuff available to me man i would have been golden uh, but it, whenever I started YouTube, I had this little cheap crap microphone that's now like five dollars, and it, but it was twenty bucks at the time. Um, the live monitoring—that's a definite thing that's not really seen from these lower end microphones, and I'm glad that they included it in this. The cable is really feels really sturdy. I really like that cable. Um, the tri tripod stand, like I said, it's one of those things that's thrown in with a lot of these microphones. Even with with the, with the seventy to eighty dollar um, Audio Technica uh, ATR twenty five hundred, the that even had a little crappy little stand. They're just thrown in so that you can place it on your desk. They're not really meant for a lot. Um, it's just basically like here, you can place this on your desk now. Um, uh, a lot of times, I don't I don't get, I even give criticism based on those because they don't even really have to include it. It, it they really don't. <laughs> um, it's just, but since it's thrown in there, it's just kind of like okay, it's there. Um, but yeah, uh, other than those two complaints, the stand, the gain, I think that this microphone would be good. Uh, you will have to play by ear if you do intend on using it full force, full time, um, to make sure that the gain's always set right, um, and all that. Um, but honestly, I can recommend this microphone. It's built well, sounds good, um, has a good cable to it. This is going to be a good long-lasting cable that you can use. And so, yeah. I would have to recommend this microphone. Um, so anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to check out the product down in the description box below. I will leave the Amazon link. Uh, I will leave the US one. And if they have the UK, I will leave the UK down there. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.